everyone, this is Miss Helms, and by the end of this video, you should be able to use volume formulas for prisms to solve problems. Starting off with our first video of the unit, we are asked, what is the volume of the shape below? Well, we know that this is a prism because this is a solid that has two faces that are parallel and congruent. So, whenever we want to find the volume of a prism, we know that volume is equal to the area of the base, which we denote big B, times the height. So again, big B stands for the area of the base times the height. Something to keep in mind is the area of the base is whatever shape the base of the prism is. So in this case, we're looking for the base of this prism. And remember, the bases of a prism are the faces that are parallel and congruent. So in this diagram, taking a look, the trapezoids are the bases of this prism because they are parallel and congruent faces. Also, when determining the height of the prism, well, the height is the distance between the two bases. So the distance between these two trapezoids is 10 centimeters. Now we have all the information needed to solve this problem. Starting off, we know volume is equal to the area of the base. Well, since the base is a trapezoid, to calculate this area, the area of a trapezoid is base 1 plus base 2 times your height divided by 2. And we're going to multiply this by the height of the prism, which is 10 centimeters. To solve this, we're going to go ahead and simplify. So in your calculators, or using mental math, go ahead and please simplify what the area of the base is. I'll give you one moment. What I found the area of the base to be was 23.65. And I need to multiply this by the height of the prism. And when I multiply 23.65 by 10, I get 236.5 centimeters cubed. Nice work! 